welcome everyone to the junk man's adventures and uh, we're gonna we're gonna build something live here uh, we're gonna do this um, just impromptu here I got uh, kind of my camera set up so you should be able to see my face and my hands and what we're doing here uh, I'll also be running my streaming software over here on my computer but anyway um, I'm just gonna get started here and I'll explain a little bit about uh, what we're doing here. And um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, as you might see by the title, uh, we're going to build a little diorama here. Um, I have one of these display cases that I got at a hobby store. And uh, it's actually for a baseball. And I'm going to use it because uh, then I can cover it. And the little base here. And what I got here is a is a Hot Wheels uh, pickup truck. It's a Datsun. Um, oh shoot, 620. Yeah, <laughs> I had a brain fart there. Okay, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm doing uh, oh, as I go. But uh, I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to strip the paint. We're going to weather it up. We're going to. I'm replicating a vehicle, and then a scene, uh, kind of from my my early days. Uh, me and a friend, and um, he used to have a pickup like this, and. Well, I'll tell the story as we go, but, but what we're going to do here is uh, I need to make a base, and I'm going to make, it's going to be a little shelf sitter, so I'm going to uh, use a little bit of uh, plaster here, mix that up, and I got some accessories, so we're going to make it, um, what it's going to do is see, it'll sit on the, this is about all I need, so we're going to make a scene here where um, it's uh, kind of power sliding somehow on a dirt road is what we're going to do here. And we're just going to build this as we go here. And uh, for you guys watching out there, uh, i got the chat going. I'll be uh, looking over this direction. I can see my computer monitor and uh, watch uh, watch if you guys have any um, questions. And uh, if you want to support me, uh, click the little dollar sign uh, in the super chat. And, uh, you know, it helps me... Uh, Fun little projects like this to make content for you guys to watch, but you never have to do that. I will do this anyways. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is probably start building up um, my my base here, um, so I can make a dirt road with maybe a little bit of grass on the side, maybe a little, uh, maybe a ditch or something. I'm gonna, uh, we're just gonna build it as we go, and then I got to take this apart so I can uh, do some customizing to it. So I'm going to have to drill out those rivets. and So we'll get going doing that. First thing I need to do is actually get some sandpaper. I need to rough up this, uh, this plastic. It's uh, kind of shiny and smooth. And the plastic, uh, from experience, I've done not this exact kind of project, but something like this before. If you've gone to my website, I made one. And I'm going to take my ring off because I don't want to get plaster on it. I should have remembered that. But I need to get some sandpaper. Right back. I get it off the shelf here. Probably. Let's do. Let's get some 180 out of here. I got some 180. I mean, it should really probably make it uh, super uh, super rough. But let's just start here. And a lot of times I just get one of my sanding discs out and just rip and uh, just use it for some hand sanding here. Nothing fancy here, but uh, yeah. If you want to ask a question or something in the chat, hope you hope you kind of enjoy this, and um, you know, maybe a lot of stuff just watching me work. You know, some people have have commented that they want to watch me. Uh, just would like to watch me work on things. Preferably, they like me watch on work on watch me work on motorcycles, and uh, I've done that in the past. Uh, on streams, I find it's probably pretty boring to watch because, um, <laughs> you know, it, stuff like that, especially if you're diagnosing, it can take a long while and, you know, you may not actually make any progress. I mean, if you've actually worked on things, and even this project, I'm going to be working on this over several nights because there's going to be some dry time uh, involved here. And uh, that's, you know, I, I will try to, I got some tricks to speed it up by using a hairdryer, but uh, with this plaster, you don't want to dry it too fast or it cracks. 
So this is definitely, you know, before we get to really doing some modeling here, uh, this part's going to have to uh, uh, wait, but that's why I wanted to start it. Let's see, let's... Mm, that's pretty rough. Um, should work, actually, here. But, um, now, you know what? I gotta get a little bit, uh, like to have a little bit rougher, but, uh, you know what? That's gonna grab, that's gonna grab pretty good. Okay, I think we're good, good with that there. Um, isopropyl, clean it up a bit. And then we gotta mix up our plaster, like I said. This is the, you know, this is the boring, boring parts of these type of projects. Uh, fun part will be coming in the next couple of nights where we get to uh, dig the airbrush out and do some things like that. Um, you know, and yeah, yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, got that pretty much prepped. Let that. Uh, Let that isopropyl flash off there while we're doing that. I'll mix up just a little bit of plaster. I don't need to. I'm going to have to probably build this up in layers here. Um, and uh, this stuff we just kind of eyeball. I used to do. I used to. Well, I mean, I still have all that stuff. Um, some model railroading and things. Um, Add a little bit more here. The temptation with this stuff is to get a is to, is to have a little too much is to get too much water in there and you get it too too soupy. I've also used um, um, process or a product called Rock Hard Putty, which uh, generally for uh, well, for fixing like, uh, well, not fixing plaster, but it can be used that way. Fixing drywall, it's it's really tough stuff. I mean, uh, to to work with it, um, it's kind of tough. But it's like the name says, it's rock hard. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, like I said, this is the boring part here, but uh, you know, I'm going to have to mix up a little bit more here. Because I want to make this diorama, um, or this realistic scene uh, here with some depth. Actually, this stuff, I should have should have put a few, I should have should have sifted some gravel and put in here, too. I sometimes do that. I didn't think about that here because with the Hot Wheels car, the scale of it, I thought maybe the gravel would be, be too, um, too thick. Or, uh, too thick. Too, too big of rocks and such. I can always put that stuff in later. And, uh, Most people say it's kind of like baking a cake, and in a way, yeah, it is. And, you know, I can cook, but I, <laughs> I suck at baking. <laughs> I see that there's a bunch of people watching out there. Um, is there uh, some people in the want to hop in the chat and say something? I kind of, you know, we're just talking to myself here. So if there's anybody, anybody want to ask? Ask a question or just comment on, or, or tell me how kind of maybe stupid this is. But I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm making this little scene. This is actually going to be a gift for for someone. And uh, and don't worry that someone doesn't uh, doesn't watch my videos. So uh, um, it won't be a it won't be a won't we're on the surprise. I guess. I'm
pretty good consistency. <clears throat> that over there. All right. Let's dump it out here. And it's a pretty smooth texture, which is fine because we're going to add later on. We'll uh, and I'm going to add more to it. I this stuff uh, you you don't want to build it up too quickly. Um, because uh, it can it can crack as your as your uh, as it's drying if you try to have it too thick, and even what I got here might be a skosh too quick thick, but uh, it'll work. Now you're worried about the I can hear you out there. You're worried about the little um, groove where the uh, where the plastic or the plexiglass. Thing sits. If we get a little in there, that's okay. I can, uh, when this stuff dries, I can, uh, I can cut it out. I can sort of uh, cut it out of there. Um, <coughs> yeah, I can, I can fix that later. Because anyways, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to do some painting and taping, and I gotta do that. So. Because I want it to the edge, and then I'll cut the cut the edge. And yeah. Okay. Out there. Hopefully, I have that sanded enough to uh, to get the uh, get the grip that I want. Okay. All right. Could have had it a little bit. Uh, a little thicker just means it'll dry. Just means this will dry a little slower, but that's actually okay in this case. I don't want it to crack. Um, I'm not going to try to force dry this. We're, we'll be we'll be coming back to this. Uh, come back to this tomorrow night. So, all right. Um, this stuff is the lightweight stuff, so kind of it's going to. Self level. Yeah, I should have should have thought I hadn't put some of the some of the rocks and things in it that I would need. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can put a little extra over here. Because as it dries, then I can sort of sculpt it, but um, I want to make sure I have enough in there to push around later. Okay, I'll leave that in there because I can always use that later. Um, just here. And, uh, all right, so yeah, for now, I'm going to set that off to the side there. Okay. Brushes uh, will be for, for sculpt, sculpting a little bit later. I just buy cheap artist brushes for this kind of stuff because, you know, they're sacrificial. Okay. Now, this, I'm going to have to get an appropriate size drill bit and uh, I'm gonna drill these rivets out here. Okay. Very carefully here. Yeah, 
And you guys are probably wondering, well, how are you going to put the car back together? Well, if I drill it just right, it will just pop back on there. But what I'll probably do is either either I'll just epoxy it back together because it's setting down here. But or I could uh, drill and tap it with some um, tiny machine tiny machine screws. Drill the or, um, drill and tap the post. Sure, nobody will have any questions in the chat while we're going here. Because man, if you just tuned in and you, you don't, uh, you know, even my regular subscribers are probably like, "What in the world are we doing here?" Because <laughs> I got the chat window up, so I can see it here. Also, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, the time of this recording, I. Uh, I t I've ticked. I've ticked well over uh, ten thousand subscribers. I never thought I'd do that. And at this at this juncture, uh, I'm along with doing this. I'm also working on a oh well for me anyways a pretty epic uh, a pretty epic video that I think will be. I need a slightly larger bit actually. Um, Pretty epic video. Uh, kind of, well, I hope to have it out by um, by my 12 year 12 year on YouTube anniversary. So, you know, if you're a regular subscriber or if you're new or whatever, I hope I hope you kind of tune in for that. better. I've never done this, folks, but I've seen, you know, some restoration videos, and this is how they do it. And this has, a, I think it's got a plastic base. And I need to go farther. I thought... Oh, come on. I think I'd have the base uh, separated here. Right. Just about. If you missed the beginning, what I'm gonna what I'm doing is taking this apart because I want to strip the paint and I'm gonna wet I'm gonna do some detail work and, and weather this uh, and weather this car. Um, make it look a little differently. I might even replace the wheels if I, um, if I can find another car with the more appropriate wheels for what I'm going with. This is more like a kind of a muscle truck type, type, uh, look here. And, uh, okay. There we, oh, there we go. Just need, just need that little bit. That's what I was trying to do there. And uh, well, I'm going to have to remember that. The bed is molded in there. Okay. There's the there's a the windshield. Okay. Because i got to have to tape and paint the bed. Let me see something here. Okay. Yeah, I'll be able to drill and tap those posts. Oh, I see. The post is there. That's why. Duh. Makes sense now. Okay. Yeah, because i got to kind of paint the interior a bluish color and uh yeah now they guess they cheapened up these hot wheels this is a plastic base i thought they used to be metal 
but okay. Well, I need to uh, change that, and I need to do some work on the grill and all that. Okay, well, I got that apart. Um, so we're done. Done with that. Tools away. Good. Grill bits. Put those back. I can also put my grill away. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, all right. Um, okay. I need to. Let's see. I need to get some paint stripper and strip that. here. Not sure. Um, okay, this is the stuff I really want to use. And let's see, I should have prepared a little bit better here. Need some cardboard. Alright, All right, folks, I'm going to go outside real quick. Like I said, should have, uh, um, should have planned ahead here. Oh, I have uh, Armando Valdez. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, so you must have missed the beginning of this stream. What I got here is um, this base. I'm making a small little diorama for, uh, for a friend of mine, and uh, it's going to be covered by this. I'm going to put that over there so I don't get paint on it. Or, or not paint, stripper. Um, and I'm taking this little Hot Wheels car, which I just took apart here, and all of its pieces. I'm gonna strip the paint. I'm gonna do some. Uh, I'm gonna do some uh, weathering and and such, and make it look like a, a vehicle. I'm replicating a scene from kind of my youth, and, uh, and this car is perfect. I have this paint stripper that I don't know if it's any good. I should have planned it. Like I said, oh yeah, there we go. And uh, anyway, I found this Hot Wheels car that is the exact same model. It's a Datsun 620 pickup. We're going to make a little scene of it power sliding around a uh, corner. It's going to be just kind of a little knickknack curio or curio um, shelf sitter for a friend of mine. I think you'll enjoy it because it's it's kind of an inside joke. I'll tell. Uh, I'm going to be doing this over the next couple of nights. So, whoever's watching or stumbles onto this, I'll I'll leave them archived. I was going to just make it like an edited uh, series of this, but um, I decided to just do it live. You know, some people have been saying, "Oh, I'd like to just watch you work," and. Um, and, uh, well, that's what I'm going to try here. And plus, I'm under a little bit of a time crunch to get this get this done a as a gift. Well, I'm going to set this off to the side. That's going to set and work on that uh, paint. And this I poured out earlier and is drying. And um, let's see if I can... Yeah, okay. Let's see if I can work it, um, work it up. Oh yeah, okay. Because this stuff um, worked with it before. Okay, and I want to. And uh, the edges, then I'll trim. But um, yeah, I could speed it up with a uh, hair dryer, but I risk cracking this this uh, plaster. Um, this is nothing special. It's just stuff used for model railroading. But anyway, this is where you kind of, you know, take some artistic license. What I'm going to try to do here is I want to push up a little bit of a mound here. 
take some of this excess and push it up here. It's going to have to dry overnight. Like I said, this is going to be a multi-night night, night project here. But um, let's see. Start to start something. I'm trying to make a road, and this little truck's going to be power sliding on it, and we're going to I'm going to do some uh, technique techniques that I used back in the day, and I picked up when I was doing some model railroading and stuff. And I don't know if you've ever seen some on my website. I had a little bit of a video series, but um, I did some plastic modeling and. Uh, Okay, so do that uh, with plastic model kits, um, some semi trucks replicating uh, real, you know, the real life, you know, art imitating life, I guess is what the fancy uh, wine drinkers call it or whatever. Okay, kind of have a, okay, it's going to be kind of our, this is going to progress. Uh, because we're going to shade in, we're going to get the airbrush out and do some work. But anyway, that's uh, what we're doing here. Like I said, there's no, I found with this kind of stuff, I mean, there's no, no wrong way to do it as long as, as long as you like it in the end, and you, as long as it gets the desired result and you like it in the end, um, it really doesn't matter how you got there, in my opinion. Okay. I want a little bit of a mound there. Okay, let's put some uh, what will seem like gravel and dirt, and okay, and then you know a little bit of grass. Um, actually, I got a fun little accessory I'm not going to reveal tonight, but uh, uh, no wager. Hi, I think you've been in one of my streams before. Uh, haven't you? But well, thanks for joining me again. Here, um, <laughs> again, I'm doing some. This is a little out of my, out of what you would normally think from me. But um, we're gonna building a small, like little diorama. It's actually gonna be a gift for a friend. And uh, okay, kind of got my. Let's see. Let's see if we got my scale about right here. Because we want, you know what, um, so it's going to be sliding. I think I'm going to have them going that way. Uh, yeah, going that way. Yeah, I need to put a little bit of, need to, need to, need to widen out the road a little bit. Oh, good. We're, good. We're drying up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'll save these little as they dry. I can put those on there to make little make look look like little bumps and rocks. Okay, and we need a need a ditch, need a ditch right here. Something that we wouldn't want to wouldn't want to fall off the road in. Ah, yeah, there we go. I need to. I'm like I said. I'll have to cut the excess off the sides, but. A little bit channeling my inner, um, channeling my inner Bob Ross, I guess. We're making some, we're making a happy little diorama. <laughs> I don't know, something, something like that. <laughs> actually, actually, I take a, and I'm sure other people do too. I take a little inspiration from him too because he did all that stuff live, and uh, and uh, it's kind of like you know, you can you can make it your own way. Okay, there's. Yeah, there's a little pile of something. Okay. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, there we go. There's a little ditch there. We'll probably. See, when I get the airbrush out, we'll we'll be highlighting a lot of this. So I know it, it's not going to look like much now, but when we get, well, hopefully when we get done, it'll really, really start to begin to look like something. Okay. So I need to I'm gonna carve a bit of a I don't want to carve into this here. Yep, happy 
We'll make happy little we're making happy little ditches here. Actually. Let's take, take this. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, that looks great. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, see we're gonna I almost almost wanna just have a thought. Just wanna have them hanging hanging a wheel off into that ditch there. Okay, we got the Got the plow or the greater ridge here. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's uh, leave some right over there. Let's uh, get rid of our excess here. Happy little yellow men. <laughs> In my head, Bob was a vet. <laughs> what do you? I guess. What do you mean by that? Um, he did. Uh, if I recall, he didn't serve in like the Air Force or something, I believe. Actually, not a lot. A lot's known about the guy, from what I understand. Um, kind of hoping some of my other YouTube friends hop in here. I didn't really schedule. I didn't schedule this stream. I just just went live. So you know, I'm not any of you guys that are happy to find this. Uh, I mean. Let me know in the chat how you how you found the stream. If I mean, I guess some of you guys might be subscribed, but um, but if you weren't, you know, it's pretty odd. I'm getting rid of my excess here, so I have less less to cut out. Okay. I guess, like I said, this may be kind of kind of boring, but um, this part when we get to the to the weathering, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, get the paints out. We're gonna get the airbrush out. Um, <laughs> oh, no clue, really. Well, actually, <laughs> um, I think he, if I if I I'm remembering what I've read about him right. Um, yeah, he was like in the in the Air Force or something. He was. I don't know if he was super high up, but I, I he did. He had some people under him, I guess, maybe. Um, fortunately, I don't know much about the armed forces as far as their rankings and who's who and all that stuff. But God bless him. God bless him. Wouldn't I wouldn't be able to be doing this if if they they didn't sacrifice um, all they do, you know? Okay. I have a decision to make here. We're gonna see. So I gotta modify these wheels because I want to make them turning. So we want to set. We're gonna set them there. I think. I don't know. Which way should I be going? So we're going like this. We're gonna have the wheels cocked that way. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna go like that. Um, so, I kind of, kind of scratch in some, uh, some tire treads here. Actually, sometimes you got to make the, uh, make the noises. Urch! Yeah, yeah, we want to do something like that. I think, yeah, we want, right there, so we're going to have... Dig those out. Okay. Let's dig those in. So that's plaster is pretty forgiving, but like I said, you gotta you gotta do some of this stuff while you're while you're um while it's still um uh, drying here. I think has it running on those? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna a little four wheel drift around this this corner here. Okay. I think we're let's see.
Yeah, because we came in here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Unfortunately, this will need overnight, and then I can put a base coat of just, uh, you know, uh, of a brown in it, brown color. Yeah, <clears throat> base coat of a brown, and uh, that'll kind of uh, get us uh, get us close to where we want. Okay, so dust some of it, smooth some of that, you know. <clears throat> I'm gonna make this look as, yeah, as natural as we can. Stiff bristle brush can sometimes knock knock some of that down. Don't want it look, you know, things in real life aren't are aren't like that, so, and we'll, uh, like I said, we'll be highlighting with our airbrush when we get back, when we get this, um, ready. Let's just, there we go. So, no way, uh, what are you up to tonight? Obviously, uh, I think you, uh, you're a subscriber of old uh, uh, Cant over at Wood Metal. Um, of course, he streams on Tuesday nights. Um, I'll be streaming again, and I'll be about the same time. So I guess we'll be competing. We'll be competing for your eyeballs, I guess. Because, um, like I said, I'm under, I'm under a bit of a time crunch with this. I should have started this project. <laughs> Like I said, it's a it's gonna be a Christmas gift for somebody, and uh, well, as you know, Christmas is coming, and uh, I should have started it a lot a uh, lot sooner. <laughs> Although, like I said, I got a vision in my head what it should look like, so it, it's gonna be fun here once we get, get going here. I could go get and do some weathering on it. Plastic, though, maybe. Figure some of that out. I think, uh... Yeah, I think we're... Maybe... Like I said, it doesn't look like much yet, but we'll be putting in the details later. Clean, uh, clean the wheel off here. Who else is out, out there in uh, YouTube land? Like I said, if you want to support me, uh, hit the little dollar sign on the Super Chat. i uh, be much appreciated. Help, like I said, helps me. Helps me, uh, well, mostly with the production costs and, uh, you know, keep my website going with all the information and things I have on there. And, uh, you know, support an internet connection that can support doing this. But like I said, I'll be doing this whether or not... Uh, whether or not you do that or not, it's just much appreciated. So, oh, hey, Paul, you just hopped in here. I just, uh, yeah, this is a little, uh, little off night, actually. I'm going to be streaming all, uh, all week um, uh, as I work on the, work through this project here. And you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. I'm building a small diorama as a gift for, um, for a friend. <laughs> and... Um, I already took apart this Hot Wheels car. I have the body with uh, stripping the paint right now because I'm going to weather it and um, weather and uh, put a finish on it and replicate. Uh, I'm kind of replicating a scene from uh, from my my past, from my my high school years. Me and a friend. Um, and I'm even playing with it while we're talking about it. But basically, what I'm doing is. This little lot, this little pickup here is going to be power sliding around this corner. I got a little case, and we're going to finish it. And I got some 
fun little um, things I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to do some little techniques. You know, I, I do some model building too. I've done that uh, not on stream, but uh, on my website you can see some of that. So actually, Paul, you'd probably get a kick out of that. Yeah, basically, just kind of, I've watched some of your videos, just kind of YouTuber you are. You might uh, like some of that. Go to my website. It's on my blog page, but um, it might be kind of hard to find, actually. Uh, but I, uh, I did some, I do some model building, and I replicated a uh, 1974 um, Kenworth W900 that we used on the farm uh, in 1 16th scale. Uh, and then a uh, 94 um, T600 uh, Kenworth uh, that we currently use on the farm. And, um, you know, replicated it. I have the, you know, replicated the real thing here. So I'm, I'm all about, you know, uh, art imitating life, I guess, is the proper. Anyway, I'm just making sure I got my, before this totally gets set up here, I'm making sure I got my, my um, skid marks <laughs> uh, correct here. So when I, I get ready to put this all together, it's it's the way it's supposed to be. Looks pretty good. So, um, oh, I see old no way. Uh, uh, oh, you were talking about, yeah, we, I was kind of channeling my inner Bob Ross here, um, making happy little ditches and uh, happy little ruts um, and skid marks here. Um, yeah, Ross enlisted in the U.S. Air Force. I, was, I, I thought I remembered that. Um, Rose the rank of Master Sergeant. I don't know what that is, but that sounds sounds pretty high up. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's uh, Peter Crash. But there you go. <laughs> okay. Well, I, we were, we were joking about. I'm channeling my inner Bob Ross here because I was forming this and we're making like happy little ditches and happy little ruts. Um, okay, I, I like that. That's gonna have to that's gonna have to sit and dry overnight. Uh, I could try and speed the drawing up with a hair dryer, but I risk cracking it. Let's, um, for the viewers who just came in here, here's the body, and uh, this is, it's got uh, some aircraft paint stripper on it. And uh, probably brushing things here, but let's see if it's got, well, yeah, it has, but. I kind of got to, I'm going to leave a little, it's not quite, I want to, it's going to take a little while, and, but anyway, what we're, I said, like I said, we're replicating, and this was a Hot Wheels car that had a black paint, kind of muscle, or a muscle truck, sport truck-ish, um, like, uh, appearance, you know, but anyway, it's a Datsun 620, like I said, replicating, uh, like I said, replicating a scene from a past, um, and a vehicle, and uh, eventually this, uh, this uh, we're going to paint this white, but we got to put some dents in it and a little bit of rust. Um, I got the interior here. We got to, I got to paint it kind of blue, and of course the bed. I got to dirty and beat it up, and I want to try to. I'm going to put some junk in the back there. I really, I really want to figure out how to simulate some. Like Mountain Dew cans, because <laughs> that's kind of an, that would be an inside joke. Um, but uh, a windshield, there we go. Okay, well, you know what? I can't really do too much. Uh, I didn't expect to uh, get that done so quick, really. But <laughs> oh, let's check out who's in the who's in the chat here. Maybe we'll just chat while we're waiting for my stuff to. Uh, uh, work work here. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna have to keep moving next uh, tomorrow night. Um, but uh, let's see. Paul, he says, you've never been power sliding in a truck before. I've done it on snow, driving a van, though, lots of times. Yeah, probably that van you're working on, right? Um, I, you know, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you the. Uh, I, I should actually, you know what? Uh, maybe I'll be retelling the story or or about this this pickup here. Um, if I can get him, maybe if I can get him on Skype or even the phone, um, maybe we'll talk about it. But, um, oh yeah, um, living out in the country and, uh, and on the farm and such, you know, gravel roads and such, especially growing up, you know, we, uh, <clears throat> and even out in our, uh, some of our dirt pastures and stuff, we'd have build, 
um, kind of like rally courses and such, and um, and then uh, even on the gravel roads and such. The, this this particular pickup, this old Datsun 620, uh, had oh what is it like a 1.8 liter four cylinder or something? Might have been a two. I I think it was a 1.8 um, single overhead cam, um, carbureted and a uh, little four speed. Four speed? Yeah, it was four speed. And um, anyway, this thing handled like nobody's business on, uh, and I mean, it was a beater kind of thing. Like I said, it was a gopher, a runaround pickup. And uh, this thing was the most, I mean, that engine probably made, you know, 90 horsepower maybe uh, on a good day. And it, it was the most fun. It was so maybe weighed 1,500 pounds or something, or 1,800 pounds probably. And uh, it was the funnest little thing to flick around a um, flick around a country road, and even on pavement too, because it just um, you know it's low center gravity, everything like that. It was like driving a go kart with a bed, and um, you know, I uh, I mean no power uh, and anything, but uh, you know it. it it was a lot of fun to drive because you could use all the power available. But like I said, it was like driving a driving a go kart and uh, used to race around. And you know, I had a little bit little bit of suspension travel, not much, but they're tough little little pickups. The bodies weren't nothing on them. I mean, you you look at them wrong and you dent them. But um, uh, the underpinnings were pretty pretty stout for what they were. So yeah, this this little truck got drove pretty hard. Um, I got lots of stories about that kind of stuff. And that's another stream I want to have this this friend of mine. He's not on YouTube. He actually, I mean, he watches YouTube. But, um, you know, he's not on the Internet in any sh real way, shape, or form. Um, so I should have him on and we should talk about some of this stuff. Because it's, it's, it, it gets in, it gets close to, into the redneck kind of territory. Um. But, you know, he's a gearhead just as me, and uh, we had a lot of fun together growing up. Um, and I still, still still keep in touch with him. He's lives a ways away from me, but we do get together once in a while every year, uh, uh, throughout the year. Um, let's see, I have one of the jump seats from one stuck on the saddle. Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, I, you know, that's another thing that I haven't talked about and I haven't really showed on YouTube. I mean, if you go to my website, you can see a good chunk of, of what I'm, I'm about. But, I mean, the vehicles I've had, or still have, I guess I should say, because I don't really get rid of anything, um, got a lot of things that I, got a lot of things that I've done and do and fun cars to drive. Um, I kind of like the oddball stuff, honestly. But... While I'm waiting here, what what else would you guys like to see? I could probably grab something else. I got some other little thing. Well, actually, since we're waiting here, you can kind of see this. This is an old model I built a long time ago. That glue's kind of falling apart. Um, it's a it's another replica of a of a of a pickup that that I that I own. <laughs> um, but I'm actually going to use the model and. Um, I think I'm going to turn it into something else, kind of a. Well, I'm going to I'm going to junk it up. I think that that might be another project I do, um, and uh, you know, make it a dere kind of a derelict and put it in a scene like this kind of too. I kind of like I like doing some of that stuff. Um, I'm kind of well, kind of art. I, I do have an artistic side to me, and this is kind of this kind of feeds into that. I really. I like doing that kind of stuff, too. Um, I don't have much else around here, actually, to uh, hang up and show you. But, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I should call this uh, call this live stream done, unless you guys want to sit and chat and just hang out for a bit, kind of like uh, kind of like what some of the other YouTubers do out there. Because, um, like I said, i got to go you know, clean this off in the, in the sink if, if it's done uh, eating away at the paint. And uh, I got to get my airbrush and everything set up um, and the paints I'm going to use. Uh, so that'll be more tomorrow night. I'm going to have to, I have a, I have a uh, paint booth that I made with a bunch of computer fans to pull a draft and pull the overspray out. 
airbrush don't need that as much. So I'll probably just have some kind of a box for some masking here because it's not like I'm going to have a whole ton of overspray going on when I paint this little thing here. Um, and same with this because I'm just going to be uh, trying to put some some different highlights in places. I mean, we're going to, I got to mask it off and whatever, go over some things. But uh, that's what we're going to do in the next coming nights. So um, why don't you, I can't give an exact time, but probably going to start about the um, time I started this, which was uh, approximately um, um, 9 o'clock uh, Central Time. And uh, somewhere is around there. I'm just going to go live. So watch your subscription feed. Uh, so double sub to me, you know, hit click that bell, and that'll help you um, or help YouTube tell you um, when I'm going live. But uh, if you want to get in here early, but uh, yeah, I think I'm about done here. There's not much we could, unless you just want to sit, sit and talk around. But um, uh, <clears throat> if you want to see me work through this project and see the whole thing, um, and then comment and ask me, yes. Um, have some questions ready uh, for me, or or not even questions, but just comments and things you like to do um, that are kind of maybe out of the out of the norm. You know, I like to work on motorcycles, I like to work on cars, but I also like to do things like this. There, that uh, uh, it, it really tickles that creative uh, funny bone, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. I've been jonesing to do something like this. So anyway, I'm gonna do this again next uh, tomorrow night. And the night after that, I'm hoping to get this done in less than five days, but I don't know. We'll just see how, how it goes, especially with um, getting this to look the way I, I want it to look. So um, click that little uh, subscribe bell and put email notifications so you get an email the minute I go live, because I know YouTube doesn't already, always send it out there just because you're subbed. Um, and tell other people about this. Um, because I like to promote other people's channels that I like to watch. So I hope that uh, they do it in return. And I sure appreciate it when they do that. So um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow night. See ya.